asteroids. Left alone here for centuries. Until the raiders came. This trinket is broken! Useless! According to the manifest... Just won't open. Cordova will want to see this. I was promised something interesting, and here you are. Right all the time. Now it's real. I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this Unstoppable mission. Unstoppable as ever, BD. Every ship we've sent into the abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. Can't be far. All right. I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Free and Dagon. There!
Master Cordova said Dagon had a retreat on Kobo. Let's find it. Whatever he used to cross the abyss, maybe we'll find it there. About that crater as we were coming in? Well, the crater is putting it lightly. Can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. What a waste. Ah, feels good to be back in the cockpit. You missed the mantis, huh? Sure, I was worried about the kind of abuse you were putting it through. Don't get me wrong, I trust you both, but I knew you'd be taking her to some dangerous places. At least back when we were all together, I knew it was my fault if I flew us into an asteroid field. Well, I'm happy to let you go ahead and make all the mistakes you like. <laughs> uh-huh. Remind me who crashed the Mantis into Dredger Gorge? If it's all the same, Cal, I'm going to stay busy here, yeah? You just let me know when you're ready to go. Ready to move? Kobo. You give that old tech Cal found in the lab a look? Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe we'll put some pieces together after we check out Dagon's retreat on Kobo. People go to Kobo after things fall apart, not to put things back together. You seem pretty put together, Grease. But don't you have a silver tongue? Maybe I'll let you take the manners for a swing sometime. Really? On second thought, no. This is your captain speaking, inviting you to grab some seat so we can land. Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Always something to do, huh? Stay alert out there. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. The new fella. Howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Is it worth a hike? I wouldn't know. Never been there myself. I'm too steep to climb. And there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. It's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. And you'll see the true majesty of Kobo. I just know it. The Bedlam Raiders have been awfully quiet, striking up much less trouble than usual. 
That's the good news. And the bad news? Rumor has it they're lining up behind a new leader. Know anything about that? Dagon Gera. Rava serves him. Huh. Figures. Cubba just can't catch a break. Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, and now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed. But I don't hate it. Ha! Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? Monk, you back there? Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. So you and Grease have any big dreams for this cantina? Well, there's a stage collecting dust. Perhaps one day we'll hire some off-world bands. That sure help us stand out. I'd say standing out isn't your problem. Fair point. But just so you know, the band at my previous gig packed more heat than a hot solder guard. And until this raider situation is under control, let the music play on. Hey, sport. Can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Remember to relax every now and then, will you? Too much tension in the coils is bad for the joints, if you catch my drift. It was good to see you. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! Sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <laughs> Come on, BD. So how'd you two meet anyway? I'll start it with this Merc crew I joined. Grok had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or imprisoned. With the car, Grok. I was telling it. Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh-uh. Point is, Grok and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. Come back later, yeah? Hey, got a sec? Looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? <laughs> It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Hmm. I don't have too many people like that in my life. But that probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? When Kobo's moon was shattered, the Republic settlement collapsed, leaving those spires. That place isn't just an old ruin. It's a tomb. It might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. You're back. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. 
Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Two locked excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays and is always in short supply. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. Good, Neko. <clears throat> A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Here you go. I held that one just for you. Done. It's a deal. That's one of my favorites. Bye bye now. Here we go, buddy. Time to go. me under. Here for the soundscape, too? 
Hey, back. I heard there was someone collecting samples up here. That's right, man. Dee Dee's been all over these glider calls. <laughs> oh, it's sounding great. You know, Kailun Saloon down in the outpost is starving for some live entertainment. Hmm. Might not be a bad call. Dee Dee swore one of those beasts gave him some side eye. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We'll catch you back at the outpost. See you there. right? Yeah. If he asks about the 50 credits, say, may or may not owe him, tell him I left the planet. I think I'll stay out of this. If you won't lie for strangers, who will you lie for? with the Jedi. I'm ready for anything. Oh, so you fought a Jedi before then, right? Uh, right?
Well fought, but you are outmatched. This is my tower. What do you want? To offer you something. A proposal. Must be a stim, bud. You are not authorized. Need to slice this. What's that, bud? That's it. Give it a try. Not bad, huh? I feel great. There you are, good as new. Almost. Own wars weren't yesterday. Did we win? Nope. Oh no. We should be getting pretty close. I don't see anything like a settlement though. That's the way through. Let's do it. Distance this time. Let's stop for a moment. Okay, let's go. may be malfunctioning. Also, you are incompetent. That's not very nice. But actually, my sensors may be malfunctioning. Engaging in combat. Try harder.
This place is in ruins. This, Mudscuffer picked up your trail outside the outpost. Cal, sounds like you've been watching us. Oh, we've all been watching, Cal. Not every newcomer introduces themselves by taking down one of Ravis's boys, which, by the way, nice touch, love a big entrance. Thanks. So what do you want? Oh, what I want, Cal, is to reward you for every one of these that you take down. Not the only one who came to Kobo for a little peace and quiet. Take these off, bounty hunters, and I'll trade you something nice. So he was Haxian and Brute. More bound to be on the way. Exactly. Lucky for you, I've got eyes and ears about. Drop by the saloon, and I'll help you get a jump on those hunters. All right. I'll think it over. Everybody's got rockets except me. Look at this. Come on, buddy. Still gotta find Dagon's retreat. So you didn't feel like helping me out there? For free. I don't think so. Pretty smooth moves back there. Thanks. You might make a decent bounty hunter. Still here? What are you looking for? I'm not telling a bounty hunter. Retired bounty hunter, I said. But suit yourself. I wouldn't tell you either. <laughs> 